So if you're told the seventh term of an arithmetic series is negative 17, that means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The seventh term is negative 17. And if you're told the 25th term of a sequence, so we're at 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, blah, 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 all the way to the 25th term is negative 71. You have enough information to come up with a formula for the arithmetic sequence. Okay? I think I said series back there. Series is a sum of a sequence. So... So to find out the general form, first uh, we have this, that uh, an arithmetic sequence is found by taking the first term, and then if you add the common difference first multiplied to n minus 1, this will be uh, a formula that represents the term of the, of the sequence you're working on. n stands for the, num the term of the sequence you're working on, a sub 1 stands for the first term of the sequence, and D stands for the common difference in the, in the sequence. So we don't know what the common difference is, but since we know that it's, uh, it's an arithmetic sequence, we know between, uh, we can find out the, the difference by uh, using these facts up here. So first, um, we, need, we can find out how many spaces there are between the seventh term and the 25th term. There's 18 spaces, the 25 minus seven. And if we divide up the difference between these two amongst those 18 spaces, that will give us the common difference. Okay, Because if you take this, subtract it by this, that will tell you how many points you had to move down to get there. And if you divide that evenly amongst the 18 spaces, that will be the common difference between each term. So we've got negative 71 subtracted by negative 17. That's the common difference. Uh, so subtracting a negative means we're actually adding. So we get negative 60, negative 54. Yeah, that's it. Negative 54 over 18. So I'm finding that a little bit for, further. 18, 36. That goes in three times. So we get negative 3 is our common difference. Okay. And again, another way you could think of that is that an arithmetic sequence is is increasing or decreasing linearly. So you can find the slope of the line y2 and call this y1, call this x2 and x1 and find your slope like you were taught before. Okay, so in this formula, I um, can't break that apart, in this formula we have d, it's negative 3. Uh, we don't have a sub 1 though. So we gotta go find it. To find a sub 1, let's go back to the facts that we're given. We're given that the seventh term is negative 17. So if I plug in negative 17 in here, this piece in the formula tells you uh, what the term is depending on the nth number of the sequence you're working on. So we're at negative 17 if we were to plug in uh, 7 for the sequence, right? If you plug in n, uh, n equals 7 in, it should spit out negative 17 because that's supposed to be the, the, the seventh term of the sequence. So there it is when it's plugged in. Uh, 7 minus 1 gives us 6. 6 times negative 3 gives us 18. So to finish solving that equation, add 18 to both sides, you get a sub 1 equals 1. So there we have our full equation now. To find the nth term of our sequence, and we just gave the sequence the name a, it's found by taking the first term and subtracting it from it 3 times n minus 1. And if, again, if you're wondering how I came up with this, we found a sub 1 by solving those last steps. That was our common difference. So I just plugged that into this blue formula, which is the general form for an arithmetic sequence.